It's all this Nike commotion. To be honest, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So I've been getting asked, how do I feel about the old Kaepernick situation? And to be honest, uh, I've, I've always been and stood by Kaepernick, um, not just because not just because of my skin color, um, but you know from the talks that I've had with multiple military, my family's military. I was thinking I'm black; they're black as well. And you, America needs to understand the message. You know, yes, you know, soldiers have died for our freedom. And yes, you gotta understand that our his freedom was to do what he did. And um, I stand behind him completely. You know, how, how all these people are really burning shoes and all this bullshit and thinking that it's a protest or a message. Nike does not care. They're like, you know, the top shoe company, all right? And that's not gonna do anything for them. You have to understand the, let's say, what the, the sales pitch that Nike had, and you, you gotta understand, it's a company, so they're gonna think about sales, point blank. Regardless of what Kaepernick's doing, Kaepernick's gotta get his money, he's not playing, so. Uh, they're getting their money, and it's not from the people that are burning shoes and, and doing all this, because you gotta understand, from the source, majority of people who buy Nike stuff, I am 100% sure is black people, all right? And, you know, you got Jordan, which is under Nike, you got, um, just make Nike shoes, period. It's black people, right? And the black community is going to stand behind him, and that's what's going to boost sales. Now, you know, it's talking from a, a business standpoint, and I'm talking from a personal, I, one point blank, and behind him, and I support him, and you can hate me or whatever. I support the military, and this has nothing, to me, it has nothing to do with disrespecting the military. All right, you know, sometimes you have to do something that's not good in, in a negative, it seeming in a seemingly negative way to make a positive impact to really touch the masses. And as he has done, it has touched the masses over here, over the world. And you know, you have to take those strong leaps of faith and really stand behind your message. You know, sometimes I mean, it just happens that way. I, like I said, I'm 100% behind him. Um, you know, I think it's a smart move on Nike's behalf. And it doesn't hurt them at all. Whether you got all these people burning shoes and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't hurt them. They don't care. All right? You know, people just like athletes. Football athletes, you know, the, the negative press they get, a lot of them don't care because it's press they get out there. And then all of a sudden, they grow more. Look at, for prime example is Takashi. Takashi 6 9 all of him about sleeping with young girls and blah, 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 all of this. Man, it's like, these dudes don't care. I don't, I'm not sure if he really has or anything, if that's proven. But... He's one of the most popular artists right now, you know? And business-wise, it's just a smart move. Now, people-wise, it's still uh, a, a smart move. Whether you don't respect him for it or not, it's a message. And this is what I hate. This is what I really hate. What the heck was that? This is what I really hate is the, the message that people just can't understand that he has and yet people are really trying to gun him down as the criminal and he's not all right for us black people we have been through so much hell you know and there are other races that have been through it as well but you know thinking going to the past i don't really like to talk about slavery and stuff going through the past from what we've been through to the times of now and how well developed the human race is to this day and the things that we're still going we're still going through you know where you see and heck, sometimes, honestly, I, I do this. I'm, I'm like, I don't call myself celeb, but, you know, I'm out there, and yet, I'm still, I'm black. My color is, puts me at risk to, you know, when I get stopped by cops or whatever, to already be a reason to shoot me or put me in jail for whatever because of my skin color because I'm we're, we're, we're seen as a threat you know the skin color is seen as a threat through whatever movement put my tell me put my hands behind my back yo I'm, I'm like scared to get stopped by a cop because I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know the reason especially if I know I'm in the right and if they don't want to listen to my word and I, there's just so much that can go behind 
the, the, the threat to a black person, especially, you know, that has done nothing wrong. There are people all around America that do things wrong, but even so us, even if we didn't do anything wrong, we're, we're still threatened. And we're, we're seen as a threat, but we have been threatened, um, I mean, more than, more than anything, and that's, and that, that hurts. And for somebody to finally come along and really stand up for us on the, the, the stage that he has, on the NFL national stage that he has is, is a great positive message. And honestly, the people that don't agree with me are, I really kind of look at you a little like funky just because this is about saving lives. This is about the people that died. Yes, if you want to talk about military stuff, the people that died for us to keep us safe, to give us freedom, and yet we don't even get that freedom supposedly that we have in this, what is great America, right? And heck, we don't even take care of our own military personnel in America. Veterans, you know, everybody that's fought for us. And the people that mainly want to be like, oh, you know, support these troops. You don't even support the, you probably, most of y'all don't even support the veterans or, or even put foot into trying to make reason as to why they are, you know, homeless, you know, very broke. Like these people put their lives on the line for us. And I see a lot of them everywhere just broke. Um, you know, need help, you know, limbs gone and stuff and just going around like, you know, it's a message and it's a positive message and you guys need to understand that. And once again, Nike doesn't care about you burning shoes or throwing away. And if you are, I suggest you give those things to the homeless, to the military or the, the veterans, you know, and it's support. Don't, don't be dumb and just get, you know, you know, I, just, I, I did burn for like thumbnail reasons, but you know, I still have donations. I still have clothes downstairs and, and shoes and stuff that I'm actually sending out for donation, you know, Goodwill or whatever it is. But understand positivity. Don't be so fast to rage against some. Understand the message. Understand the message. That's really all I have to say, guys. But I just want to know that, Kaepernick, I'm behind you. And I feel you. And I keep praying that you strive. And hopefully the world will truly understand what you're trying to do. Thank <laughs> you.